Well, hello everybody and welcome to Black Forest. This is a survival city builder. We're going to be doing the tutorial in this first video. Now, I just got early access to this and was looking at this game and it looks pretty cool actually. So, uh, the first tutorial is just introducing us to the world. It does look like it has some pretty good survival mechanics like diseases and... Alright. Alright, good morning. Yes, good. Yes, we're great. Oh man, another talker. So there, that's cool. I uh, I tend to skip through this kind of stuff. Basic controls. Uh, no, I think we're good with basic controls. Those are pr always pretty self-explanatory. What I want to know is how do these mechanics work? Explain how to build more fields and animal pen. Sure. So it just kind of briefly explained how things work. So of course, you know, we have fields, we have wheat, we have cabbage, we have carrot. You can see some of the fields are out here already. Um, we can demolish, repair, harvest, harvest four peasants. So we're gonna tell it to harvest with four peasants. It seems a bit involved. The graphics are, well, let's see. The graphics seem pretty good. We do have the ability to go up pretty high speeds. pretty crazy nice so we can do lampposts for uh, lighting that's interesting not all games have lighting mechanics in them like more ominous kind of city builder. Alright, we're just going to power through the night. It doesn't really seem like there's much we can do. Alright. So you can see here in the defense category, we have watchtowers, guard posts, trappers, armor. I like the guard post thing. That's something that I think that's been like kind of missing. So we also have the ability to have rabbit pens, chicken coops, goats, cow pens. I think we should get, ooh, this is cool. Yeah, let's get a chicken coop up. And it looks like, uh, looks like we got some chickens right here. Slaughter. All right, now we're just gonna collect the eggs. So this game is a little bit more involved. I feel like I'm having to tell people what to do. It's cow pens. That's pretty cool. Our objective though is just to store 200 food before day 10. Okay. Good morning. Specifically harvesting ammo. Fields take several days to grow. When they are done, you can harvest them. Just click the field, and then you assign how many workers you want to go there. There are conditions of the field. It's ready to harvest more. You can also send peasants to harvest either just one or a maximum amount that can work the field. Cool. Got it. Animal pens work the same way. You can collect eggs and milk every day. You can also repair and demolish buildings. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Let's go. Common buildings, workshops, animals, fields, decorations. Ah, so here we go. There is a harvest all button. And we can assign workers. That's really cool. Okay. So you hit the harvest all button and then it tells them what to do. So let's do it. But I think that only works for natural resources. For the food, I have to do that uh, manually, it seems. So the lamps are in the decorations, so 
we got some cows over there for milking. It has kind of like that black and white vibe from old school god RTSs. But I'm waiting for the minotaurs to come in here. Start killing everybody. Let's go to fastest. Alright. So then you can see that we're able to assign tasks this way. Um. Harvest. You're not ready for harvest. Growing, but it has drought. So we need some kind of like water service. All right, we're gonna take a peek. I actually would like to get you know some of these lamps up just to see what what that's all about. Okay, we're gonna assign three peasants to the wells. And then I think with that they'll they'll come and do some more stuff. It's definitely a different kind of game. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get some wabbits. All right, I kind of skipped through the talk and stuff. It's always. Tell me about trappers. Yeah, trappers are sound good. Walls. Yeah, walls are also good. I don't really... They want me to secure the village. Cool. Okay, I don't really want to talk to you guys anymore. Thank you. Alright. So, I think with trapper would make the most sense out over here. Then people had to get resources. I don't even know first how much food we have. This is kind of a interesting UI interface that they got because it doesn't tell you enough. I like this though. They have a villager overview where you can see the ages and what everyone is doing. That's pretty cool. Okay. Alright. Store 200 food. I feel like we're missing something. I think I need another well. Like I need more fields too. All right, let's speed this up. All right, we got some lamps. Oh shit, we got goblins. We got goblins. All right, so I don't think I got anything prepared for this. Yeah, this is so. This is a different kind of survival city builder. This is this is pretty cool. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get the the hang of what's going on here. They're they're probably going to like steal some some goats and light some stuff on fire. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> was so stupid. <laughs> Do anything. Okay. Okay, so that's that's what the repair the repair buttons for. Um is beyond repair. Okay. Well, demolish it. All right. So that's why you want to protect yourself. So we have a trapper that we're supposed to be getting up. It's destroyed, huh? All right. Okay. We're going to get the trapper up a little bit closer to town. It looks like we have quite a bit of people doing nothing, so let's get them out there.
You're running out of food. Do you know? You have enough fields? Yeah, we have we have everything, my friend. I'm just gonna put all of my peasants on searching for food. It seems like the fastest way to do this. Put them all out there, cause we're just not getting the food. Build more fields, build more animal pens. Gathering in the forest is the easiest, but also least efficient. How many will I need? Ten items per day per field, okay. Alright, the watchtower is now available, so that's something I want to get up ASAP. We're getting, we're starting to figure out some of this stuff. Yeah, so this is like a, a theme, like a story. Story themed builder. Oh, that is one annoying rooster. That is probably the most annoying rooster I've ever heard in my life. And I've heard, I haven't heard that many roosters, so I guess my, I guess my uh, not really an expert on roosters. Slaughter rabbits? Yeah, slaughter rabbit. The maypole. Alright. So, let's go gather all the resources we need. Let's uh, assign three peasants. Alright, cool. They're already good. Yeah, unfortunately, these don't have a sign button, so you have to kind of manually do all of that stuff. All right, let's get this going. We got way too many people standing around, so I'm just gonna send them off in the forest for food. I wanna get this watchtower up, man. All right. Assign one peasant to work the watchtower. Hmm. Alright. So far, the knights are pretty good. Like we're getting we're getting close. All right, a lot of talking going on. Mash, I don't care. All right, we got walls and towers now. That's what came of that. Not enough wood. Okay. Alright. Dang, we're going really fast now. Maybe a little too fast. No, oh, no, the rat. Plague rat. 
Oh shit, there's multiple rats. That kind of sucks. They they uh they messed some stuff up. I don't think anyone did anything with the watchtower. Okay, cool. The watchtower seems to be able to spot, like, activity, which is kind of cool, I guess, if uh, you're into that kind of thing. Not enough workers? All right, cool. Yeah. So the towers, they only... Okay. So we want a guard post for defending, but yeah, they're not even... They're not even available to fight. It's um, kind of silly. Oh, nice. Burning pile. Burning piles deter most creatures. Okay. Let's do a burning pile right there. I like that. I like burning stuff. That seems very classy. This is a classy establishment. There we go. We'll set some stuff on fire. Beautiful. <laughs> not enough wood, not workers. Okay. Alright, let's speed this up. Let's slow this down. No eggs. Yeah, we're... This... Getting food is pretty hard. There we go. We got giant burning stuff. <laughs> this will take care of those rats. They'll probably come from a different angle. So. Here, here they come. Cool. They're coming. They're coming straight towards my burning pit. Let's see how how well this works. Not at all. Not at all. Wonderful. And they're going straight for my food supply. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know if I have to wait for those symbols to appear, or... It's like the symbols aren't really working too well. There we go. We're doing a lot better in some respects, though. I think I'm gonna put some of the fields down here, even, because... Those areas just seem to attract a lot of attention in the north. Alright. Now hopefully we don't get hit by anything else. Alright, we're day 10. All 
Shields watered. Perfection. All right. Said before day 10, so we're at day 10. All right, what, what's going on here? All right, so some trolls, some trolls are gonna be coming now. <laughs> yeah, we could take, we could take them. Defeat, all right. Well, I need to learn how this game actually works, but uh, that's, that's a sneak peek at the Black Forest. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. So yeah, it's definitely, it's a game where you're defending yourself from monsters that attack you in the night. So it's a kind of monster themed survival city builder. If you like this kind of game, after seeing what you watch, go ahead and uh, check it out. Everyone have a good one.